What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Bada boom, bada bang, we in this thing, period. In today's video, you guys, I have a pretty different one for my channel. Um, today we will be building a clothing rack, okay? So I purchased this from Home Depot and the name of it is called the Industrial Strength Decorative Orange Base Z Rack with add-on hang rail and built-in height extensions, okay? And the exact price was $83.85 and then of course it totaled to about a hundred dollars with shipping and stuff um so yeah i'm just going to show you guys how to assemble it and put it all together so i hope you guys find this video interesting and helpful and let's get to it so here are the products that came in that brown box i already took everything out the packaging so this is what we're working with okay so first things first we will be building the base part of it so you're placing this into this thing right here. And as you can see, this part is a little slanted, um, like diagonal almost, which is perfect to fit properly in this right here. And it goes in just like that. Okay, and then you're gonna flip it over. And as you can see on the back, it has holes for screws to go inside them. So that comes with the wheels and a couple tools. In this screw bag, there are gonna be four screws that look just like this. Okay, they're kind of wide a little bit, but they have like a short end. And the tool you're going to be using is this tool right here. And this is called a hex key wrench. this to 
together. show you guys all right you guys so now we are moving on to the attached hang row which is basically going to go from this side to that side probably in the middle of this thing's height you're gonna see about four of these okay four of these things right here I have them on here in your bag with all the screws you're also going to see these type of screws okay and that's what you're going to use to assemble this part you're going to take the nut and the ring off of the screw and you're going to put the screw inside these little square things so we have two screws going in but let's start with one and it goes just like that so it's not like this it's like this okay so sideways so you're putting this part of the screw into the other square just like that you're going to hold it as tight as possible make sure it's still aligned because your metal piece is going into this whole shaped thing right here okay placing the ring on first it on okay in order for it to stay up you have to tighten it but if you tighten it as you guys can see the hole is already getting smaller and you're not gonna be able to fit your rail in between so what you're gonna do is let this drop down just like that and go do the other side so that you could put your rail into both things raise it up and tighten it on both sides grab your rail in the center of it so you can hold it with one hand and you're going to place it damn it okay let's see boom okay so this is going to come off you're going to place the railing right in here at this piece back so you're gonna put that last screw inside the square hole. So now we got both in there. So you're gonna squeeze tight right here so it doesn't come out. Get the ring and the nut. Okay, you're gonna twist it on there as tight as possible.